welcome to the third episode of Redstone 101. In this episode, I'm going to show you an RSNOR latch. We moved on from gates to latches. So all it is, is you have an input here, input here, <coughs> and the inputs are buttons. So this, when you press, no, when you press this button, it'll turn this one on and keep it on. And when you press this button, it will turn this one on and keep it on. Moving on to a T flip flop, um, I'm going to use the most basic design. We have two iron, two blocks up in the air. Then you add redstone on the top, and then the redstone torch on the side. Take a block into the ground, put a redstone torch, and right where that redstone torch is, put that there. Put a block right next to it. Uh, this here, this here. They have to be sticky pistons, I do believe. <coughs> and then you touch the button up here. <coughs> so this basically makes a button act like a lever. And here's a way more compact and easier way to create a T flip flop. So we put a, have a dispenser with a water bucket. Have a fence here. Fence here. Grab yourself a wooden pressure plate and put it there. This is what your output will be. Oh, how lag. Have my output like right there. And then uh, have a block above the dispenser now I'll place a boat right there now when I give some sort of power it's off yeah and it's on now how does the RS latch work well let me show you real simply so when I press this button, it will activate this redstone, but it will also turn this torch off, which will no longer give power to this block. So then this one will always be on, and it's giving power to this one, so it's always off. But then when I give power to this one, this turns off, which makes this one turn on, which keeps this one off forever. And then the T this here T flip flop is just one of many designs. Um, oh, let. This one is caused by a glitch that um, if I press this, it'll actually alternate between the two pistons. Like, this one will retract when this one will try to extend. So, it's technically a glitch and it's technically not. Now, whoa, how does this one work? It uses the new feature from 1.3 which allows dispensers to dispense water which makes the boat float uh, so it's not on the pressure plate and when you suck back in the water it drops and it's on the pressure plate then thanks for watching this episode of redstone 101 as always link is in the description for the map if you want to study it yourself and be able to create these off by heart if you couldn't really understand how I created them <coughs> but yeah Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.